Hey there kind people, it's me Yunbin. Welcome back to another K-pop album review. This time I'm reviewing Lesser Films new mini album Crazy. They made a documentary before this comeback which I reviewed. From then on I plan to review this album and when I saw how many track it has, I was happy. I couldn't miss this opportunity. But before I start, just a quick reminder, here I rank and review at the same time. The song you will see me talk about first is my least favorite and just like life, the best thing come at the end. That's why the last song on this list is my most favorite. That being said, let's get started. This was just another lesser film album intro, where they don't necessarily sing. They just repeat some lines in different language, they try to convey a message and it also covers the theme of the comeback. They usually tease the title tag in that too. Most of the time they release it as an album trailer. Since I don't follow teasers or trailer, I'm not sure if they did this time or not. My guess is they definitely did. Anyway, as I said, they don't sing in the song, so I never listen to any of their intros after the first time, but some people do and I can never relate to them. I don't have any problem if you do, but still why? I mean, just tell me what the fun you get listening to some random phase that you don't even understand. However, Chasing Lightning was different from other intros. First of all, it's longer. It's even longer than most of their songs. And it's more poetic. Other intros were just random phases back to back. But this time they also tried to rhyme them. Which is why I think it's listenable once in a while. But that doesn't mean I like it. I am here to listen songs, not poems. However, I want them to keep doing this. This is their signature and I would be sad if they abandon it even though I don't like it. This track is fully in English because it was mainly made to perform at Coachella. Well, that's not the reason it's ranked low. Trust me. I didn't hear this until now. I mean, I don't care about Coachella and after everything, I guess they don't care anymore either. Anyway, it's a great song to be honest. I can imagine it as a song from a thriller movie. It has a great build up that matches the vibe of a thriller movie. The instruments also complement that vibe. I really like the intro where the electric guitar plays and we hear phone button being pressed. It was cool. Since it was in English, I understand some of the lyrics which made me curious. Like, who the heck is Saki? Why are they looking for her? Are they talking about Sakura? Who knows? And as they like to kiss everybody my lips are free just a reminder you can reach out to me on instagram john anyway why is it ranked so low again oh yeah it's fully in english The title track Crazy, which was indeed crazy. It was different, it was more of an experimental song. While most lesser film songs is typical K-pop song with upbeat, easy to listen melody, Crazy has more western sound, which I think is a good thing if done once in a while. You can also notice some extensive use of autotune. I personally don't like autotune, but for this particular song, it was needed. If they hadn't used it, that version might not have the same feeling. The music video can be the definition of crazy. Every sequence was something crazy. One moment their heads became became bigger, then it starts buffering. Some parts feels like AI, that motion capture sequence would be my favorite. A huge credit to the editing, the editors did a great job. Also whoever came up with this idea should get a raise, every sequence was thought out of the box. The choreography also looked amazing, it had some cool and satisfying move, I'm waiting for the performance version. Anyway about the music, at first I had some doubt, but after hearing 2-3 two, two, more times, I started to understand the song. And over time I will start to discover more layers of this song, I can see myself getting addicted. Even now I enjoy it while watching the music video. While listening to it, my body was vibing with it. The real definition of the song would be fun and crazy. It was a fun song with some crazy elements. That's my girl, that's my girl, girl. This one feels like an extended version of Crazy. It has all the elements Crazy has. You will find some similarities in progression, the surprise factor, also the autotune. Piero also has an old 80s 90s vibe. The intro is similar to the intro of Note, which was inspired by an 80s or 90s show. So in other words, Piero is a retro version of Crazy. However, Piero is easier to listen to. It's also fun overload. It kind of forces you to move your body. My favorite part would be the refrain where they switch to a cappella. At first I was surprised, but it was good as well. This one caught me by surprise. So far we are listening to upbeat song after upbeat song. I thought the theme of this album was experimental. Then out of nowhere comes a beat taking ballad. This is called the perfect end of an album. It also has an OST feel. Of course I personally like it a lot. Nowadays I don't stream ballad much but my love for ballad is never going to end. Yoonjin actually wrote and produced this song. No doubt it's good. She should produce more songs. Imagine a full mini album produced by Yoonjin. That would be awesome as hell. <laughs> 
Wait, hell is an awesome, awesome as heaven. Although I like it so much, I know this will be the least listened to song. If you don't like it, I want to ask you why. Every time it will touch your heart, sometimes it will take you to heaven. The instruments will straw, so it mostly focuses on their voices, and they have beautiful voice. I think every song's main selling point should be the vocal. Other than that, the rhythm, the flow, the build up, the verses, everything feels perfect to me. Overall, it was a great fun album. You can tell this time they try to do some experiments. In most cases, it's either a hit or miss, and this time it was a big hit. That was an intention. However, at the end of the day, the main question is, will I revisit the album often? Actually, I don't know. I mean, most songs need time. They are experimental song with multiple layers. No doubt these were good, but from here, either I will get addicted to them or I will just over listen to them and get sick of them in the end. But at least for one month, I will continuously listen to most of them. After that, what will happen well time will tell anyway these are just my opinion you might have a different opinion than me the comment section is open for that you can share your fearless opinion there also watch this video as youtube think it was made for you i will see you guys in the next video until then have an awesome life